Welcome to Heal It. And today I'm going to be talking about 10 reasons why we got to spend more time in the sun. Spend the whole day in front of the laptop. Oh. Number one, happy mood. Sun stimulates the production of endorphins and serotonin. Hormones which are known for its happy effects. Number two, deep sleep. The sun, it makes it very obvious to the body when it's daytime. So this gets your circadian rhythm back into order. So when the body knows when it's day and when it's night, then the melatonin, which is the hormone which regulates sleep, is produced most efficiently when it should be, i.e. at night, producing deeper sleep. Number three, better erections. When the sun hits your skin, it releases into your body a lot of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is like the same way like Viagra works. It works on your on those same receptors which produce nitric oxide, have you know? Number four, reduce blood pressure. The nitric oxide, which I talked about earlier, when it goes into the arteries and the blood vessels, it actually relaxes them, so it prevents them from getting much more narrow, where this kind of basically prevent, prevents stroke, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Number five, reduce weight. Increased serotonin reduces people's appetite. Do you ever remember having a feeling when you're in really hot weather on holiday that you don't want to eat as much? Yeah. Number six, help heal skin conditions. So anything from acne, psoriasis, eczema. Surprisingly enough, for most people, because I, I have mild eczema myself, but sun is actually prescribed in controlled doses for such conditions. Just, it wasn't for me, of course. Just loads of steroid creams, which just waste away your skin. Number seven, it's a great source of vitamin D. Vitamin D is increasingly being linked to preventing many cancers, many diseases through how it works in a load of gene expression. Beats SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, which is essentially the winter blues. Number nine, prevents diabetes. One study in Finland found that children given vitamin D supplements for several years had 80% reduced risk of developing type one diabetes. Yeah, you don't have to just settle for being ill. It improves your smile, reduces the amount of cavities, keeps your teeth strong. One study found that the proportion of untreated cavities in Scotland was three times greater than in the southernmost regions of the UK. Number 10, beats period problems. About one in five women of childbearing age suffer from polycystic ovary disease which causes abnormal periods, unwanted body hair and infertility. In one study, half of, of 14 women treated with vitamin D and calcium recovered normal periods and two became pregnant. Because basically now, with over half the world's population living in like towns, cities, urbanised regions, it's becoming increasingly easy, especially with all the tech, PlayStation, iPhone, iPad, computer games, everything, you name it, cinemas, TV, it's becoming increasingly easy to spend your whole day cooped up in your room. And when the sun does come up, which isn't every day, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's rarely in the whole year, to be honest, then really people don't make the most of it. And this is kind of the basis for a lot of problems, a lot of diseases, a lot of aches and pains in the body, and I think it's time, I don't know, we just become a bit more aware of it at least. Because it's lifestyle is linked to everything. If you like this video, please like. You'll let me know what I should produce more of. And if you want to comment, just feel free. And see you next time. 
remember, lifestyle. Lifestyle. It's all about lifestyle. Realize like the night after, or like 